layers of AWS S3 security. And that is a feature that rolled out, I think, in 2019 called Block Public Access. Um, this is going to be the way that we end up needing to explore a whole lot of S3. Because if you read these blocks of text, it gets quite complex. So we have four layers of blocking public access. By the way, you can turn this on at the bucket level, I think at the account level, at the region level, there's a number of levels you can turn it on. And there are four different settings. If you check this top box, it's block all public access. But these other blocks that, that make up block all tell you more about how S3 layered security really works. So we're gonna go uh, spelunk into that. So the first one says, block public access to buckets and objects granted through new access control lists. Okay, five layers of S3 security. The first one, access control lists. Amazon tells you don't use these anymore. Okay, even though every time you create a new S3 bucket, you get one, they tell you they have better ways. But ACLs are uh, access control lists, and you'll, you'll see that they keep getting referred to in here. You might think, well, why is AWS talking about ACLs if they say don't use them anymore? Well, because the service is 14 years old. And ACLs were put on S3 before IAM existed and before these other features existed. And so a lot of folks, I mentioned trillions of objects in S3, a lot of folks have ACLs uh, all on, the, on, their, on their buckets. So the first one is block public access to buckets and objects granted through new access control lists. In other words, if we've already got old public access control lists, they stay public. Only stop people from making new public ones, okay? The next one is block access to buckets and objects granted through any access control list. In other words, all the old ones we've got that were public, shut down that public capability. You wanna be cautious doing that if you have a large collection of S3, because you might break stuff. Okay, um, block public access to buckets and objects granted through new public bucket or access point policies. Okay, so the first layer is uh, AC, uh, ACLs. Second layer is Identity and Access Management, IAM. Third layer of security on S3 is the bucket policy. The bucket policy is an, uh, actually a form of access control list. This is confusing stuff, folks, and, and you really have to drill into it to understand how these work. But bucket policies work differently than the old school ACLs, but they are your last line of defense for your bucket. We're gonna cover all this stuff, by the way. Fourth, is an access point, which can have a policy. I'm gonna hold off on explaining access points for now. I think it's important enough just to understand those, those first ones on individual S3 buckets versus buckets with access points. And then the fifth one is this thing, the block public access. And let's jump over to the block public access documentation because you'll start to see one of the themes of S3 of understanding S3 security is because of all these layers and because of all the history and the complexity, you end up with a lot of like little special cases and little catches to things. So this is just the AWS documentation. Okay, we saw those four, I gotta keep moving my window here for Zoom. Uh, we saw those four uh, uh, settings. This, these are, those, those were like the human speak versions. These are the real versions, okay? So uh, block public access, uh, block public ACLs, um, ignore public ACLs. Okay, we're a half an hour in, I'm gonna drill in on this a little bit. So you, you really need to think about, you cannot read the English of the, doc, of, of the interface and think you understand these things. You have to go and look at this detailed documentation. So, cause it will tell you literally what's going to happen. So if you have the block, public apples on, settings to true, causes the following behavior. This is where you find out what's really gonna happen. Put bucket apple and put object apple calls fail if the specified access control list is public. So you could apply apples both to buckets and objects in buckets. So a put operation against the bucket 
or the objects, if it is public, will fail. So it's not going to let you do that put. That's how you assign an ACL to something. And put object calls fail if the request includes a public ACL. So you can do a put on an object. You can put a new object in S3 and you can kind of stick an ACL on it and say, you know, do these together. So this is its way of saying like, you, you, that's, that's not an escape around this. You, if you put an, a public thing on it, we're not gonna, we're not gonna allow it. So this block public ACLs is really gonna prevent you from putting new stuff in with public ACLs. 